sorted. Hello and welcome back to Sorted Food. This is the Mitsubishi TOST1T toaster, said to be the most expensive in the world. Right, so here's the thing. It cooks one slice of toast at a time and it costs over 300 pounds. So why wouldn't we get a professional chef here to review it? I can't wait. Neither of us have played with this, so here goes. This appliance is designed for use in Japan only, only and cannot be used in any other country. Let's get started. Oh, it is entirely. Oh, I just realised. I just realised what the T O S T I. No S T I. Not an S T I. S T one. S T one. S T one. So a little spatula. As an unboxing experience, it doesn't exactly feel premium, does it? It doesn't kind of reflect the price you pay for it. But then I don't know. I've never unwrapped a car before, and that, that's what I thought they made. I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> It doesn't look like a toaster. It doesn't feel like a toaster. And it doesn't... Sounds like a toaster. ...opened like a toaster. Literally enough space for a single slice of bread at a time, engineered to within an inch of its life. We've got a converter, so we're only giving it 110 volts. And unlike our hot dogger, we're not doubling it up. For full transparency, this is actually the second toaster. First one, we opened, and we didn't use transformer, and we blew it up. It's got a lot of buttons on it. Guessing you've got, like, from defrost or steam or length or colour. I don't really know. Less guessing, more scanning. We've got the doing? Google Translate app. Let's do it. It's a lot to translate. So we've got between toast, frozen toast, toast with a topping and toast. French toast. That's what the FR is for. Thickness is four, five, six or eight. It doesn't appear to be a seven. It depends on how many slices you get in the loaf of your Japanese bread. And then we go from fluffy to a dark and dark colour or a crispy colour. So I know where there's a timer. No, but I guess it if you do this and you. this and this, it will work out a time yeah. and then you push go. Oh, this is blowing my mind. So our plan here is to test this toaster to an inch of its life. We've got lots of ingredients, lots of things to make. But we're going to start with, well, let's just make toast. So shall we? We have managed to get some Japanese bread, so a milk loaf. This comes as a four slice loaf, which is the thickest one, number four. I want like a, a light brown finish, fluffy in the middle. Let's pop it in there. I don't see a heating plate on the top side, but I do see a four little holes. So I'm guessing is, do you just steam toast? It literally seals it in. That was, that was dead, not the machine. Soft bread, a four slice. Medium. Medium? Yeah. Start. Ticking. We have no idea how long it's going to take, do we? So, I think in the UK, I always associate Mitsubishi with cars. So when they bought out a toaster that is this expensive, it didn't quite add up to me. I think it's literally about perfecting one thing. Yeah. It's doing something. A little bit of a steam vent. Are we happy that's done? I mean, that was very quick. Trust the machine. I mean, I can't be amazed yet because it's just, it's just a toasted piece of bread. That was probably, what, 90 seconds, two minutes? It felt quick. A toaster doesn't exactly take a long time. I think this is all about keeping the moisture in the bread whilst well, okay, toasting well, the outside. Well, we're working with bread that I'm less familiar with, but it feels outrageously spongy and cakey. Mm -hmm. That is, on its own, without butter and condiments, everything I like about yeah. milk bread. Yeah, yeah. A slight crisp on the outside, light and fluffy in the middle, with a lovely sweetness throughout as well. So, they say they've managed to design a toaster in a way that totally traps and seals the moisture inside to make perfect toast. Mm -hmm. How is it going crispy and not soggy in there? Oh, this is bothering you. What happens inside the magic box is magic. No! We've got to work it out. Then let's try some more stuff. Okay, so straight away, a loaf I'm more comfortable with, but there's no setting for one. No. This is, this is one slice. If you could cut that to... Not through the... Oh, my what word. Who does that? Oh. Not heard about microplastics in our ocean. Don't put microplastics in our bread. Oh, it's fine. Do that. And now you can't wrap the bread back up afterwards to keep... That's what clean them for. Yeah, more or more turtles. If you can get six slices out of that bread, then it's perfect for this machine. <laughs> six even yeah. slices without the crust. Excellent. And let's go slightly darker. Oh, OK. 
The person who is in charge of the technical development for the company's home appliance division has said, I quote, we wanted to focus on the single slice and treat it with respect. And I do feel like that yeah, yeah. captures so much of what we learned when we were in Japan, and that was do one thing and do it really well. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be like one thing, like one, one slice of I one don't. thing. How long do you reckon it's going to be? Oh, listen. A long while yet. Yeah. There's a long while between ticks, so it's a long while till it's Five done. Five minutes. The toaster serves a very different role in my kitchen to what this does. One slice would be torture for me. It's beginning to speed up. Pete, coming in. Right. Let's have a look. Ooh, toasty. Golden. I might take mine a bit further at home, but... That is toasted. I'm guessing because there's less sugar in this loaf, it's browning a lot less. Compared to the milk bread, for sure. Would you like butter on your half? What would you bloody think? <laughs> <laughs> You're a chef, right? I don't want to sure. force the saturated fats on you. Now, <laughs> here we are. My, ooh. Oh. So it says it's toast, but it really only is on the outside, because the middle is just hot bread. <laughs> You've no, never no, been offered a fluffy middle at breakfast Shut table. up, eat it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what we know toast to be. The outside layer doesn't get any deeper within the bread. You have a slice of bread on its own. It's fluffy in the middle. It's not moist. This is moist in the middle. This is hot bread with a crunch. It's not what I know toast to be. And yet it's quite nice because it maintains the moisture of a fresh loaf that you want. It's almost like re rebaked it, refreshed it. So it's like toast, <laughs> but a really, really thin layer of crusty toast. Surrounding warm bread. Wow. Interesting. I did not expect to enjoy this video as much as I do. <laughs> You're getting a bit sour. I'm I glad was. that worked. Right. What happens if we try toast with the topping? Yeah, yes, yeah, over. Let's do it. This is fabulous. I love this. There's recipes in this booklet that comes with it. We've used the Google Translate app again, and I'm going to go for this one. What's that? Butter the toast, cover it in slices of apple, sugar and cinnamon. If you're worried, he is actually a professional chef. And this excited. <laughs> Whack that on. And we go for the topping setting. Oh, it's very thin, so it's at least an eight. Middle ground. Go. Interesting, it says cooking time about 15 minutes. That literally took us less than two to throw together. This is dessert. This with a scoop of ice cream. Mwah. This scoop of ice cream, 300 pounds. Wow, perfect. I'm smelling apple pie vibes, but I'm also smelling... I'm desperate to look. I want to lift it. Yeah. We're getting there. This is it. I like the metronome it gives you as well. Ready? No. It's going to be hot on the top because that's. Personal. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Go for it. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh it's ridiculous. It's such wonderful well, textures. No fun. No fun. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no fun. It can't be happening. <laughs> Such wonderful textures, because it is still soft and fluffy. Maybe that's the apple juice, the crisp. We've been doing it for a decade. How am I surprised by a bloody toaster? Let's play again. So while we're on the theme of making dessert, we'll crack on. We're making a French toast. Which is breakfast. We've used a classic egg cream, a little bit of sugar, vanilla, cinnamon mix, soaked into the bread, butter the toaster, pop it in, set it. You only get a medium option on this one. If this gives it the like perfect Gooey, custody yeah. middle and crispy on the outside. No, can't be crispy on the outside. I really wanted this to be a waste of £300 so we could get angry at it. And I was in love with this. I know, I want to make everything in it now. Maybe it flips it when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> in a previous life, you used to be a magician, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's like <laughs> Trapdoors Notice out there. I haven't <laughs> rolled my sleeves up today. <laughs> this is the longest one yet. This is probably still not letting out any steam. Here we go. No, no. together. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on a journey. Oh, no. Let's have a look. No. Oh, 
Okay. Even golden on one side. Ooh, oh, actually more oh, golden oh. on that side, but happy with that. Oh. It could have soaked for another hour or so because I forget just how thick this Japanese bread is. You can see how thin and crispy the outside layer is. The rest remains soft and fluffy, we hope. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. As a texture, it's a cross between a custard bun yeah. and toast. It just, it's, it's so... Perfect. Yeah. The textures you get off of that, from that machine, is on par with an excellent pan, but in a pan you need to flip it. Mm -hmm. That you just pop it in and let it do its thing. Very, very clever. Let's try a savoury filling. What's next, monsieur? So, croque monsieur with bechamel in it. Butter, bread, bechamel, ham, cheese, bechamel, bread, butter. <laughs> That's the plot. Key montage. <laughs> oh, good hand. Don't tell the French. There's no settings for this one. We're going for a, a thick bread, I think, because it's now a thick slice of bread. Now the brownies. And a crispy. Yeah. While we're waiting for it, fun fact. So a traditional breakfast in Japan would be miso, fish, rice, maybe some vegetables. But a recent study by Insight Signal said that 51% now prefer toast for breakfast. A change in tradition. Yeah, okay. And if you're gonna apply the same amount of care and precision and respect to toast that you do a more traditional breakfast, Ooh. maybe that's why a machine like this exists. Whereas on our side of the world, We've been taking toast advantage of for too long now. We don't really think about it. It's taking advantage of taking toast. Taking advantage, you know what I mean. Let's have a look. Oh! Gooey. Let's take it out now. Crispy bottom? Yes. Oh. Look at that! The bottom is perfect. Oh my goodness. Right. Dripping butter. It's molten cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's ready. Are we up? Wait. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. I told you let it cool down and then you hurried me. <laughs> that was so hot. Mm. You're so impatient. Worth it though. <laughs> but it's straight away. Don't give me this, you just burnt me. Oh, that was a full blown whimper. Yes! <laughs> and third degree bloody burns. I'm gonna try again. Mm. Mm. It gets crispier, not drier. But up until this point, all that's been inside really is bread and water and moisture and some apple. This time we're putting fat inside and that just oozes and melts, but you still have that wonderful crispness on the outside. Reviews. Dirt cheap bread here. Mm -hmm. And really naff cheese. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter because it's injected moisture into that. It doesn't inject anything. Well, it does something magical, Ben, <laughs> and I don't understand. <laughs> Couldn't get any better, to be honest. I've got something I want to try. Korean toast. Okay. Bold, Evers. Last time we had Korean toast, the bar was set extraordinarily high. A pop-up in London by Josh and Ollie, Korean oh, Englishman. Oh, they invited yeah. us down and they did it properly. They literally yeah. shipped in yeah. special South Korean bread, their own kimchi, which we have got it in off. But they didn't have a 300 pound toaster. We're gonna use thin sliced white bread so we can keep it shallow enough to not stick to the roof. Buttered on both sides. Mm -hmm. Cabbage, kimchi, cheese, and the egg I've already cracked into the machine to make an omelette. Only a chef would look at a toaster and think, I can make an omelette in that. Omelette. Brown rice syrup. Monsieur. Clamper down. Topping section. Come on. Four. Four. Crispy. Yep, go. While we wait for this, you want to see it done properly, go and check it out on Josh and Ollie's channel. Link's down below. Steam starts to escape. Smoke signals. 
bit burny. It does smell a bit burny oh, to no. me. We shouldn't keep experimenting, we should just stick to what we know. Shall I look? Yeah, we're gonna have to have a peek. If we peek in less than a few seconds and it carries on cooking. Whoa, it's done. bit burny. Done. Perfect on that side. Very even and golden. Go! Ebers in! This one's not quite as hot. I'm gonna trust you on this one. I mean, that's oh. what I remember. Not quite as good, but that's nearly what I remember. But it's really nice. But it does give you something a little bit different because the inside of this is ever so slightly steamed. Yeah, it keeps some moisture in for sure. But then. I don't think we ever set out to compare this toaster mm. to one you can buy off the market. The point is, how has a toaster ended up on the market that expensive? And as a result, I wanted to hate it. Mm. I don't think I do. How is that possible? It's a phenomenal bit of kit. Engineering expertise consolidated into a single appliance mm. that did something to toast that I never thought needed doing to toast yeah. until I've tried that. It made the best slice of toast I think I've... You nearly said the best slice of toast you've ever had. But it was... You, it, you very nearly said I that. I nearly did. I'm not going to say that in case that's you somewhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> this but, is not a hashtag ad. We've spent a lot of our money on this. Twice we broke one of them. I've had a lot of fun today and been on one hell of a journey. But what do you guys think? What do you think of the toaster? And also, what would you like to see Ben review next? Can we find anything as extraordinary as that comment down below. Extraordinary. It's just a toaster. It's not just a toaster. It's a toaster. <laughs> Baby, a snack? Apple on toast? Yeah, sure, no worries. Five minutes. Thanks, buddy. I said babe, not Ben. Oh, <laughs> I just presume that's how we refer to each other after a decade. <laughs>